Now there was a question on the community recently, a couple of days back, on uh, how to check if plugin module is uh, enabled. Now this question was asked by Mike, and Mike is basically asking how to do it using a uh, scriptner for Jira. And uh, since uh, he is talking about a uh, scriptner, and he's also uh, talking about Jira Core Server. So I will uh, try to answer this question on the server version of Jira. Now the good thing is that you don't really need a scriptner um, for doing this. You can do do this thing quite easily using a REST API on server. So basically all you need to do, you need to use this endpoint called REST plugins latest. So I'll copy it and I'll uh, paste it here. I mean, you can use Scriptner. I have also shared one uh, one link to a script where basically the script is also, the Groovy script is also using this endpoint. So if you try to use this endpoint, if I try to use my browser to call this uh, endpoint called REST plugins latest, you will get this uh, JSON response back. And uh, you can see here that in this uh, JSON response, you have uh, quite a lot of things. You have basically things like, uh, let me just go back. I think I pressed one button to collapse. Okay, so basically if you see here, this is a response, the JSON response, and you have the uh, name of the plugin, add-on or app, whatever you want to call it along with the, the status which is enabled and if you scroll down you will find this for uh, each and every plugin for example uh, for example if you're talking about script now for jira you have the name you also you also have the status of the app which is enabled version and uh, user installed is true it means that uh, it is like it was installed by user and you also have few other things like uh, vendor name, marketplace uh, link, and so on. So basically you can you can write a script if you want to, but if you just want to retrieve this information programmatically, you can do that using a script, using just the Jira REST API on server. The link here, which I shared on the community, uh, if you go to the adaptivist library, where you can find a lot of uh, scripts, to make your life easier, you will find one example where uh, you can basically use Confluence to create a macro that will show a table of uh, all the user installed Jira apps. And if you look at the code here, the code is basically using an application link from Confluence to Jira. And it is basically, uh, it, it is basically using the same endpoint like REST plugins latest, the, the same thing that we are doing. But of course, when you're writing a code, you can do a lot of wonderful things with it. You can uh, further fetch additional information for those uh, listings if you want to do something else with them. But I think this JSON response is quite good already. You have quite a lot of information. And this might be useful for things like maybe if you want to create a report of uh, all the installed plugins, and you can do that by simply clicking a button and you will have a report of all the plugins installed. Of course, you can do that manually if you want, but if you can script it, consider scripting it so that you can uh, automate it as well. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.